And so I told them, if there wasn't enough pizza, I'd order more pizza, because I care about my grandparents. Pizza every day. Yeah, pizza every day. That's how we're going to start the part. Mm -hmm. Pizza every day. Pizza party. Party. Every day is a party. Dude, man, I don't care what anyone says. I like parties. You don't have to get drunk at them. I'm not talking about a fat party. I'm just talking about a good time with your, your best buds. Because, mm -hmm. I mean, look, I like friends. I like people. I'm sociable. I'm just very socially awkward. Doesn't mean that I can't be sociable at the same time. It just means I, I hate being in, like, super group intensive activities. I don't know. I, I don't know how to word that. <laughs> if, my, if my bed's not 100 feet away, then I don't like it. Look, Orange County's gone. Uh, Jack Black can live on. Mm -hmm. uh, dude, man, I like Jack Black. I don't care what anyone says. That guy seems like he's an awesome person to hang out with. Yeah. I feel like that's the guy that you just, like, chill with, and then you just go play some game, and you, get, and you like, both will bond over it, and it'll be, like, a really sweet time. Yeah, except you know, like, he's attracting everybody, so he doesn't have time for you. He doesn't. How do you? We're going to Las Vegas. Oh, nice. Okay. Alright, this part has to be Spinner Mickey here, because he has mm. stuff to say about Las Vegas. Yeah, fucking I, sucked. I'm, I'm putting him on the spot. No, I'm sucked, sorry, man. buddy, but you gotta talk about Las Vegas, because I know for a fact... Well, like, there's no buildings that are that, are that high in Vegas, except for maybe, like, one or two. Okay, alright. Well, please, keep going, because, I mean, it's, it's fucking Las Vegas. I've never been. I always wanted to be. You got uh, one awesome-looking street? And then everything else is pretty much homeless and nasty. Okay. Uh, I, well, I mean, you've been... Hey, Elvis. <laughs> I hate Elvis. <laughs> uh, but, I mean, like, you, you, you used to live in Las Vegas. I know. Yeah, I used to live in this building right here. Really? Yeah, this one right here. <laughs> well, goodbye, building. <laughs> Actually, we tore it down so they, they could make a new one. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but no, seriously, tell me more about Las Vegas. I mean, there's it's like gambling and other things, and I mean... No, you, it's, that's all one street. It's literally all one street. Am I Every thinking of Reno? No, you didn't live... You lived in Las Vegas. Mm -hmm. Reno is like the poor Las Vegas. Actually, Reno is really nice. It's, well, I mean, it's nice, but I mean, it's not like Las Vegas. Yeah. It's like the lesser known Las Vegas. It's like the stepchild to Las Vegas. Mm -hmm. You know, you got the family... Uh, Las Vegas is like the star shell that everyone's like, yeah, let's pay attention to Las Vegas. But then you got Reno, which is awesome. And I mean, you got Reno 911, which takes place in Las Vegas. And I missed that show because it was amazing. And then it had like the extra season that no one asked for. Because uh, <laughs> they got rid of a lot of the really awesome stars that everyone really likes. Uh, uh, I, I, I don't know where I was going, but I liked Reno 911. I used to watch that all the time because uh, I had a lot of fun watching it. I thought it was a really sweet show, and uh, I, I miss it every day that I don't watch it. Uh, I think it's on Netflix. To which, if it is, I, I gotta go catch up on my Reno 911. Dude! The fuck was up with Reno? <laughs> we just passed through well, Reno, it. Reno is pretty small. Um, where was I going with this? Oh! So Las Vegas, uh, you lived there, you told me stuff about it, you said mm. there was a, a nice place. Um, what'd you do in Las Vegas? Like, let's delve into the... <laughs> you want you want honesty? Let's delve into, like, the past of Spitter Mickey, or at least how much he wants to dwell. You want like, some honesty, dwell. what I did in Las Vegas? Yeah, yeah. I stayed in my room, I played fucking well all the time. Okay. And never left. <laughs> and, and why is that? Was it because it was too hot to really go out and enjoy too stuff? Too hot. Or Everybody was it was like just... because like it was bullshit while you, where you yeah, lived? Yeah, it was just a bunch of gangs over there. Okay, so uh, that, that, that's, uh, that, that's really Although, all Although you... like, we lived in a nice apartment okay. that had a big ass swimming pool, so like I, I would go swimming a lot. I, I I'll say this, um, I would live with this guy. Because he's a pretty dope guy, and I would play WoW with him. Uh, and by him, I mean Spitter Mickey, because, uh, you know... Right, I, though. But at the same time, I mean, uh, I feel like we, we should just invest in getting a farm and just uh, chill out in our farmyard and, like, grow crops and uh, fuck the world. Mm -hmm. In fact, let's do that. Let's move to Eastern Washington and just, just chill there. Uh, we can go into bar barter markets or something. I don't even know. Done. 
<laughs> Have I sold you? Yeah, sold. <laughs> I've sold myself. <laughs> Viewers, like, really, there's not a whole lot to me. I mean, like, honestly, if my schedule could live to being just streaming on select days, posting stuff on YouTube, and then just doing everything else that's like doing the farm thing, I, that that would be my schedule. I want, I want, I that's want. The dream. I want like. Bessie Moo Cow. Bessie Moo Cow is like my dairy cow. I would probably have a second one. Mm -hmm. um, I'd, I'd probably have a dog. No, dog's given. Hell, if you lived... If we were sharing this plot, like, you and I would both have a dog. Yeah, I'd have a bunch of goats. Yeah. Dude, goats are amazing. Yeah, I know. No, seriously, my folks have goats. Like, they're the sweetest animals in the world. Like, I don't care why anyone says. Uh, I goats, love going goats. to the zoo and just, like, fucking with them. Dude, fuck it. I would have Mary Moo Cow... Uh, Mary Moo Cow would be the second cow. Uh, Bessie would be the first cow. Uh, Mary Moo Cow would be the first, would be the second cow. Um, so I have Mary and Bessie. Um, they'd both be dairy cows. Uh, they'd be great. Uh, I guess we'd have to have a third one, because, or we'd have to have, like, three or four of them, because, uh, basically the calves would be the only reason why you have, like, either ones producing milk. Because you know how that works, right? Huh? Uh, basically, uh, cows only produce milk when they have calves. Because, I mean, like, biologically, uh, animals only produce milk when, uh, they have offspring. Nutrient sort of thing, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Uh, I guess drunken gildom giving biology lessons is not the best example of trying to explain how, how nature works. My point is, uh... Mary Moo Cow and uh, Bessie Moo Cow, they, they would only give milk if uh, they had if they had kids. That, that's really all I'm saying. You know what animal I really want, but it's not going to happen? What? Probably my new favorite animal. Fucking love camels. Camels? Yeah. I feel like we could if we had some sort of animal rescue, which, you know what? If you and I both had this farm and we both worked it for a couple years and you know what, everything was chill and stuff, I feel like we could actually get it to happen. You know, we'd have to like try to, I feel like we'd have to fill out some sort of application for some sort of animal rescue s status. I don't know what the process is of this. I'm just abbreviating like the thought process. But I, I would say I'm down with that because camels are pretty sweet. I've what? seen YouTube channels where there's this, there, there's like someone taking care of a camel, like they, they have adopted a camel. Uh, and, and you know what? It, it's fucking adorable. Yeah, I fucking love camels. Oh my god, camels, camels, like the best. The best. And you know what? I, I'm down. I, I would, I, you want a camel? I'd what? say let's, uh, let's apply for the status and just like, let's, let's raise a camel. Because, I mean, like, it's not like we'd eat it. It's not like we'd do anything for it. We just... Sacramento was a really short stage. Mm. Uh, all I'm saying is, like, all we would do is just have a camel chilling on a farm, just being like, hey, I'm a camel. <laughs> I felt like, in an ironic twist, I'd call him Camel Joe, but yeah. uh, there'd be no cigarette brand there at all. It'd just be camel, camel just, like... Sitting there, just chilling. No, I'd probably, uh, I'd probably have, like, a really racist name for him. Oh. I got a question. Mm. Are we talking one hump or two? Uh, I don't know. Is there a big difference? <laughs> no. But, I mean, like, you know, uh, there's different There's different types. One oh, has one hump. Oh, one hump. One, one has, hump. Okay. All right. I feel, I feel uh, like, uh, I feel like uh, camels, much like llamas, they're just really chill and just, like, they're... There for you. I uh, I would say, how do you feel about alpacas? Cause uh, I like them too. I mean, I I want a camel. But well, yeah, like, but I mean, like, I like how how like do you feel too. about like uh, also having an alpaca just like chilling on the farm that we're just uh, yeah we're just doing? I see them all the I see them all the time. Like a lot of people have them. Yeah. Well, I mean, you know, they're good for making wool, hmm. and that's what I'm saying. I mean, like, if we had an alpaca, I say uh, we'd shorn it every every like spring while it's starting to get warm and then uh we i feel like we could sell the wool for a small profit and i mean like i, I feel like that would be pretty ideal you know what i mean like mm -hmm. it, it'd be just an extra <laughs> bit of income like 
maybe at most we, we get like $60 so we can buy like a free game and just be like, yeah, look what we got. I, I like how we're discussing a possible future, which I, I want to happen. Yeah, I would love it. Um, But the viewers are like, uh, dude, you know how easy it is? It's like, no, you know how hard it is just trying to like figure out all this shit? Because it's like, the biggest part is that commitment leap of like, uh... I mean, like, really, it's just, like, a big, just, commitment of uh, want to be, like, all I want to do... How are you? <laughs> I kicked you in the balls. <laughs> like, seriously, all I want to do is just, like, I, I want... I gotta be honest. Okay, can I get, like, super real for a second? Mm -hmm. Is it is it gonna be too much? No, go for it. Okay. Uh, honestly... I have to say, if I wasn't working where I am, I don't want to list any names for legal reasons, because I feel like that's going to bite me in the ass if I don't, or if I do do that. Uh, I want to say, I think if I was a farmer, I think I'd be all right with it. Like, I would literally just be like, yeah, you know, I feel I feel fulfilled. I, what the fuck? Oh, we're not fighting each other. <laughs> we're not fighting each other, man. That was That was in the past. We're working together now. We're, we gotta destroy the place before the Jets. Uh, but no, if I if I can get super real, I mean, like, honestly, I think if I was a farmer, uh, I'd be okay with it. And like I said, I mean, it's not like I'd give up this. It would not affect me uploading. In fact, uh, it would give... I feel like, aside from the hard stay work, I mean, like, granted, there would be a transitional period. I mean, that, that's a given, right? Like, I'm just trying to get... Like the schedule down, but I mean, like every evening there'd be like at least like a good several hours while I'm just winding down, and I mean like that that would be where I'd stream, you know. I'd, like the main point is like uh, I wouldn't even get cable, like uh, internet's where it's at. Mm -hmm. Like us being somewhat in the millennial mindset, it's just like internet, like is the hands down that that's all we really need for entertainment, and uh, if we were sharing that plot of land. That would be where the major bill would be, you know, like just like grabbing this high-speed internet in this farmhouse, just growing our crops, and then like chilling with the internet, and mm -hmm. then like I don't know, God help me, uh, we're in Oregon. <laughs> but no, seriously, I think I'd be all right as a farmer. I like watching things grow. I mean, it's like there's a bit of excite excitement in it. Like I get giddy whenever I see like that. I'm actually not. Uh, I don't have like a black. I don't have the touch of death. I don't know how better to word that. I have a green thumb. I can grow things. That's what I'm trying to say. I, I get giddy when it, you know, the fruits of my labors actually pays off and I, I see things are growing because I allowed it to grow. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm all about that life. Uh, because it's like me being the person, it's like I always. Because I can't get a relationship. Uh, no matter how hard I try it, love finds me ironic. But at the same time, seeing the fact that you know I'm not I'm not a heartless bastard. Apparently, in nature finds something redeemable in the sense that I can actually grow plants. Uh, it makes me feel it, it warms my cockles in my heart. <laughs> it warms the cockles in my hearts. Uh, I wanted that to sound awkward because I can't think of a better. You know, all I'm trying to say is I like growing plants because at least it gives me that warm fuzzy feeling that of love that uh human society can't really give me mm -hmm. other than like plutonic friendship and family uh this has been the awkward part you know what that's the title of the part awkward part <laughs> bleeding my heart that's the description bleeding my heart mm -hmm. awkward part bleeding oh my god what the fuck we have to do this this has mm -hmm. to go in we If you can't hear what I whisper, we really live close to Seattle. It's it's this is super meta. Uh, it's it's so meta that in the background we have the Space Needle. Oh wow. Um, if if you don't know, I've been to the Space Needle. Uh, I haven't been really on top of it for a long ass time because uh, when I was a kid, I went to it because my grandparents and my parents they thought it was important that I see. It there because uh, childhood curiosity was like what's in the space needle uh, but like you know what uh, I was gonna say this is the awkward part but now it's super meta this is the most meta I can get in one part 
uh, I, I, it doesn't get more meta than where, than like where it strikes home, which is like this in a nutshell. Uh, Spider Mikey. Mm -hmm. Um, meta. I mean, you're quiet. You're like, uh, I'm just, I'm just smashing this building. And I'm <laughs> listening to you talk about future plans that I would join you in. And it's like, I want a camel. And it's like, yeah, I, I got you know, that. I want to work at the zoo. And then, like, I, when everybody clocks off. Oh, my God. I'll okay. just go sleep with the uh, uh, Apparently, a childhood something. friend of mine? No, okay. I got I to gotta clarify this because I got to wrap this up. Um, a childhood friend of mine, my best friend, who's moving recently, mm. I found that out. I've been talking about it in my rattling videos. I'm digressing. Um, they found out that another one of my childhood friends is working at the zoo. Wow. And now I got to go to the zoo. Oh, that's a good excuse. Because <laughs> we're talking like childhood best friend. Mm -hmm. When I say childhood friend, I mean, we're talking like... That's two childhood friends, one that I, like, see on a constant basis that's moving. And another one that apparently met up with another one that's, like, working at the zoo. And they're super cool. I, I Apparently, on their Facebook, they talked about, like, if they were a World of Warcraft character, they would be Gul'dan. <laughs> okay. So, you know they're pretty badass. Okay. I got Fryer Mike's approval. Uh, this part's over. Uh, we're going to the zoo. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Gotta go the reunion town, baby! Yeah! Part over! Part over! It's done!